Um, what was something that, you know, really caused you to have to grab back on to hold on to what you loved as a child? You know, like, I, I think that's a leading question, but I, I think probably the way out of a lot of the, the frustrating moments for us is just holding on to that initial passion and inspiration. And, and what's a moment that was like that for you? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, so a, as you know, I, I, I kind of had a physical injury and that completely shifted my perspective on all these different things. Um, so I, I, I had wisdom teeth that grew in funny. Um, they grew in a lot robust and full and over many years gradually, you know, and it changed my jaw structure and started creating some, some problems. I couldn't close my mouth all the way and, uh, started having a lot of tension, pain, lots of pain, like it was gross actually. Um, so I had the teeth out and I figured that would fix everything, but it caused everything to spasm all, all the musculature, the, the muscle spindles. Um, so I had like these crazy spasms all down my neck and like in my face and I'd be twitching and nothing having to do with playing the horn, just, just, just living my life. It was, you know, and it was a byproduct of, um, of TMJ disorders. So I was grinding my teeth at night not realizing it. And the muscles are so tense. I'm grinding, grinding, grinding. I actually ended up mm, popping the, the discs out of place in my jaws and the, the jaw bones, you can see on the x-ray, like the lower mandible is supposed to go up into the, into the skull and be housed, you know, and it's rounded, you know, with these protective discs and my bones on the scans look like this. They're, they're flat. I flat I flattened my uh, my jaw bones from from grinding, and a bunch of nerve damage and stuff. So like facial numbness and my my arm my right arm was was numb down to the down to the fingers. Um, so obviously this impacted my playing quite a bit. I pretty much I kind of lost the ability to play almost anything. Couldn't play without couldn't play anything without pain, and I could barely play could barely get through the easiest of of anything's. Um, so this was at a time for me that I was also sort of at the peak of, I was the furthest along in my career that I'd ever been. I was playing all the best gigs. I was touring three, four months out of the year. Um, I was teaching, you know, 20 students at the, at the university and I was getting commissions to write stuff. And I was like, it was very exciting. You know, lots of cool stuff going on. And at the same time it was like, oh, also you're in pain all the time and you can't play your horn. So that was a very difficult period and it's not something that ever really resolved. It's something that has been, I've learned to manage and I've learned to treat and I've had to essentially relearn, relearn how to play and play in a different way. So I, I, I'm no longer the player I was. I play differently. Um, it's been a bunch of years of like slowly building things back up, you know, and what I will say about that is, is horrifying and awful and, um, very depressed period of my life, very difficult few years. Um, I will say that the appreciation that that time gave me for the things I had taken for granted, um, that I will never forget. So when I play well now, it's not something I take for granted, where I think that it always kind of came pretty naturally to me. Um, for whatever reason, you know, things were easy. My air moved well, I didn't have a bunch of weird, bad habits. I, I had great teachers. That's what it is, going back to the community thing, right? The teachers and the mentors along the way, I owe everything to them. And I just, luck of the draw, it was great. It was great for me. And then um, kind of got knocked down. And and uh, now I'm on the other side of it. And I'm, I'm different than I was. So there's definitely some gratitude and some perspective baked in. How's your, how do you approach the concept of time, the time it takes to do things and accomplish things now versus before the injury? Yeah, that's a good question. I have an awareness that it takes me longer. It's going to take me longer. I'm less um, capable in some regards. Um, and you have to be patient. You have to be patient to improve upon anything and to to get back, you know, be it actually playing the horn and physically doing something and improving or, 
even just in terms of inspiration of feeling feeling like this is right and this is good and I'm, I found the right path. I think you have to have patience to to trust that you know you're heading in the right direction. You know, go towards the good things. Definitely, I, I think things take longer now, but at the same time, I think uh, going back to that student professional mentality, the student feels that they are not ready. The professional feels that they are ready. That's I think maybe something as well in the professional world you know i say yes i say yes to too many things probably i I work i do some projects that are more work than they're worth but i see that as part of the process and part of building yourself up and getting better um taking taking on things that so saying yes right even if not feeling uh confident not feeling like it's something i can necessarily get done in time because what it is is a new challenge to do something in less time and to trust the fundamental professional qualities that have gotten me this far so far 